Hi guys, this is Pastor Janet again with just a little update. So I just want to let you know that I'm still keeping up with this stimulus. Right now, it's 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 like on a battlefield, like a war, tug of war. Both sides are pulling the opposite direction, each side wanting to win. So we have the antagonist and we have the protagonist. The protagonists want the 2,000. Antagonists don't want it. The cash act is out because they were going to give. Uh, the same amount of money to the rich people. So Mitch Connell got upset about that. He said the rich people are already rich. They don't need any stimulus. So that knocked everything out. It messed everything up. And Bernie Sanders and them got some people on his side that still want the stimulus. And they're saying just pass it and give it to the American people because they need it. I totally agree. We do need it. I haven't got my 600 yet. I don't know if you guys have gotten yours. If you have, more power to you. I know it's coming. But I'm just saying, was this just a little piece of cheese that they gave us? Just to satisfy us for a while with promises for tomorrow and we don't know who what's going to happen in tomorrow we don't know what biden's going to do uh and president trump is out he wanted the 600 before he got there well he did he signed that he got that but it's just a mess it's just a total mess and i've never seen a congress like this a new congress is coming in on sunday and they're thinking maybe they can get the vote on the floor and get the 2000 passed we don't know seems like there's a lot we don't know this is like, I don't know, it's a game. It seems like Congress is playing the game with the American people's money. And they're still giving all this stuff to these foreign countries, but they're still quabbling over to give us $2,000. Now, I don't understand that. I really don't. We should have that $2,000. We should have that. Or, you know, we need it. People are starving and suffering, but we're helping countries way overseas that care nothing about it. And that, you know, I'll be honest, I don't understand that. I don't understand it at all. I don't understand why American people have to, you know, help all these other countries. You know, charity begins at home first. I agree with helping others because I'm a pastor. I agree with that. But if you don't even help your own people at home, that's bad. And right now our Congress is looking pretty bad. And I don't know what to say about them. I look at the men that are supposed to be running our government. All those people in Congress, I think, are rich. They're not suffering, not one iota for anything. We're the ones that are suffering. So... Hang in there. Be back with another update as soon as I get more information. But, you know, like I said, I don't do these stimulus things. But this is just way out of field. You get take one step forward, two steps back. And that seems to be exactly what we're doing. So, we'll see how this novel is coming out. We're going to see. Because in a novel, you wrap everything up and everything turns out well. The, the heroes win. And the, you know, the ones that, you know, the antagonists, they lose. Well, right now... The people are losing, and the antagonists are holding everybody hostage. So we're going to see what's going to happen. If I was writing this story, I know how I would end it. <laughs> A lot of those antagonists would be gone. <laughs> they wouldn't be in Congress anymore. They wouldn't be reelected. And I would be more conscious of who I did put in there. So let's just keep watching. We'll see how the story unfolds. But this is a Congress novel, part two. See you later, guys. Bye-bye now.